Hey there, Tim Bauer here from LiveVideoGuitarLessons.com with a practice tip of the day. This one is for the beginning player, and today I want to talk about patience. Um, you know, there's there's not a lot of it going around in uh, the world these days, and I, I include myself in that. Um, but patience really pays off when you're um, working on something, and, and the patience I'm talking about is the kind of patience to to slow the tempo of a song down, or or if you're having particular difficulty with um, a hard part of whatever you're working on, you can't quite do it yet. You have to have the patience to slow the tempo down and learn it slow. Uh, and I have trouble getting people to do that. And I, in my own life, I, I get a little um, stubborn and, and try to learn everything at tempo too until I realize I can't do it. But I, I know that if I slow the tempo down, I'll actually learn it faster. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, say the tempo, whatever you're working on, let's just call it you know, 125 you know, beats per minute. Um, and, and you can almost do it you know, slow it down to 110 and then bring it back up slowly. Um, if, if you, you know, if you're way off, you know, some, uh, something that's way above your skill level, slow it down to 60 and start there. You can do anything that anybody can do given enough time and employing the proper uh, um, practice techniques. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of throw that out there. Um, and I always, uh, when I talk about this, I always, uh, 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 give a, a personal anecdote. I was, um, uh, uh, what really cemented this in my mind as a, as a good practice technique a long time ago. Um, I was, uh, I'm, I, I'm not, I can play a lot of instruments, but I, I'm no violin player. And I had written a song, I was recording a song, and um, I had written a, a violin part that I wanted to put in there. And I usually like to use uh, real instruments when I do that, regardless of whether I can play them or not. Usually I can you know, just kind of learn real quick. I don't really know how to play the instrument necessarily, but I can, you know, fiddle around with it long enough to kind of play the part. And that's what I was doing with the violin. And, um, and the part was fairly simple. I just, you know, I, I'm just not a violin player. I, I couldn't do it. I was up all night, you know, not all night, but it was late at night. It was two, three in the morning. And, um, you know, I was just, you know, I was getting frustrated. I was, you know, I was working on this one part uh, for maybe three or four hours, and I just got frustrated and just went to bed. And I just said, you know, I just told myself I just get up early the next day and do the exercise of slowing the tempo down and, and bring it up slowly. Because I, I knew that worked, but I, I never knew how, how well it worked until um, this incident occurred. And so, I, so the next day I got up and I just figured it was going to take, you know, six hours. Because again, I, I, I'm, I, I'm pretty good on some instruments. I'm passable on, on, on you know, drums and obviously I play guitar. And, and I play, you know, bass. Most guitar players play bass, and I'm okay on harmonica, and keyboard, and stuff. But violin, I don't. I'm not a fan of violin. It's uh, I don't like the small scale, and um, and maybe I'm just too. Uh, uh, it, it frustrates me to try to play it. So anyway, um, so I was. I figured it was going to take me, you know, five or six hours to learn this part. So I slowed the tempo down, and before the hour was over, the part was recorded. I I, I knew it worked faster slowing the tempo down, but I didn't know it was that dramatic. I mean, I, I mean, I had the part recorded and doubled, and, and I think I was tripling or, or quadrupling it to, to fatten up the sound and make it sound more like a, a symphony than you know one violin. And that, that's how well it works. You just have to uh, uh, not get frustrated, and just you know, it's supposed to be fun to learn you know stuff on on for me other instruments and, and guitar. So just have a good time in the learning process. That's what it's all about. That's why you play guitar anyway. And going through the, the correct motions um, will help. Uh, you, every time you do that successfully, learning something that you can't do yet, you're getting better and better and better. I'm covering up my face here. <laughs> better and better and better and better and better. And that's, that's how it works. That's, that's what you do. Um, so anyway, kind of keep that in mind. Uh, thanks for tuning in for this practice tip. Tune in again tomorrow for another one. And I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.